Hello guys, nice to see you again. I'm Chris. In this video, I'll show you how to use uh, EL6731. It is a POVI bus terminal that comes from Packoff and to config a POVI bus master and then we make a communication to a Siemens PLC as a the Siemens PLC you play as a POVI bus slave. So maybe you think that why we still use Povi bus is very old protocol or something. Yes, it is old school, but it's still using in the site in so many places. So it's better it's better to know that the basic operations or the theories about this old school protocol because it's still using in the factory. So let's start. Before I continue with my video, I would like to introduce myself a little bit more. I'm Chris, I come from Hong Kong and, uh, and I'm working some job in the factory automations and the left hand corner that you can find my blog youtube channel and twitter then if you have any questions if you want to uh have some discussion with me just feel free to text me in this place okay let's introduce a little bit more about the 6731 it is a poly bus master terminal the like the cycle time is from 200 mill 200 milliseconds is possible and it support the Poly bus DB and DB V1 and V2 for the master or slaves up to 12 megabits per second. So we also have powerful the parameters and dynamics interface. And it's possible to read the bus conversions and, and automatically assign to the GSD files. Okay, Poly bus is also very similar to Poly LED, so it means that you add a GSD file or improving the actual GSTML file. You can download it from the Siemens website and after that and uh, please in this case I'm using Siemens uh, CPU 3152db and unzip it and then put the file to the C Twinker 3.1 config IO POVI bus. Okay so I think my uh, introduction here enough now I turn on my camera to see what kind of hardware that we are actually using in this tutorial. Okay, now you can see that this is the actual hard uh, hardware that I'm using in this tutorial. And here you see that the Siemens PLC is using a purpose cable. It's connecting to uh, my EL6731, my inside my PovyNet terminal. And you have two two cables and the green one is connecting to my IPC and as a ESA cam master and also the white one is connecting to a network switch and this blue cable is connected to my PLC. And here also is a USB, USB cable, maybe you cannot see very well and this is connecting to my PC to let me to config and uh, monitoring the current status to uh, between my to my PC from using step seven. Okay, I think there's no so many things I would like I need to explain here. I can open step seven to see what how can I config the uh, S7 PLC as a polybus slave. Okay now I open the step seven classic then here's the software that allow that lets you to config and program and the old Siemens PLC. Uh, although now they you prefer to use TI portal, but in some case step seven yeah I would say the step seven classic or semantic manager is also a magic box for you to program the OCBU because it's very easy to use with and very light. Okay. So uh, the first thing I'll show you how to config the Siemens PLC as a Poly bus slave. Go to the see uh somatic 300 and click the hardware then you see that is a hardware connection screen here then all the spooky bus for the net and other stuff you need to config in here so the first time i'll show you how to config it at a poly bus slave as you see that is a x2 port called db so this one this db port is the port pointing to here okay and then double click the DB. And uh, here is the property of DB setting. For the first one, you need to click the properties. Then you need to choose a POI bus and set the POI bus address. And make sure that this address is not D 
Republica in your Polybus network. And then you click the properties again and go to network setting. Then make sure that you are choosing the DB mode. And also the transmission rate is need to match to all your node and your master. So just uh, make sure all the setting that you are correct. And then you can go to the uh, operation mode. You need to make sure that now it's in DB slave. Working as a DB slave because now in the EF6731 is a mode, a POWI bus master. And go to configurations. Now you can configure the each slot that what kind of data you like. You, you configure it as the input or output something. So in here you see I configure the first the slot. Line one is a input for four bytes. Then start from local address I10. And the second line two I configure it as a O10 output at four bytes data outputs. So you also can double click it. And then you can choose input type and address. And here's a slot number. You cannot change it because it's not four, five, six, seven, eight. Because of, there is a general ID in the first five. So it's free slot. And um, if you want to add new slot, you just click new and just to configure as you like. And after you configure it, just download your project by pressing this button. Download your project to your PLC, to your Siemens PLC, and it's finished. And then I, you can also create some. I'll say some uh, simple program to allow to let you to um, check the data is is transfer or not. Go to OB one. I'm using OB one this time. You can use any OB as you like. And uh, it's just very simple STL program to allow you. I just transfer some data to my to the output and get some back some data input to transfer a buffer and make sure that now the data is trans is exchanging. Okay, I think for the explanation here is stuff. Now we can open Trinket to start program, our uh, program and co do the conversions for this tutorial. Okay, now we open the Trinket project and now we can start to configure our Trinket side. The first of all, you need to make sure that your Trinket editor is connecting to IP that you would like to configure. Go to system, go to system and then choose target. And in this time I'm using this PC, so make sure to choose this PC in here and then go to config mode. Okay. Just wait a second, it is some time to switch from the run mode to contact to the config mode. And then we can add the second master by go to IO device, right click, add new item, and choose the second master. And then you can choose which interface that you would like to use as the second master. In this time I'll choose none. And then you can go to the editor tab and then go to pass the search button and then the search which interface you want to use as the second master. So in this case, I'll use this IP, this uh, interface with this IP and my address. Then we can use the scan functions to scan all the second slave that is exiting in our second network. Right click and press the scan button and just by a second. And then now you see that the EL6731 is fine that you would like to add in your conversions, make sure it's yes. And then it's some time to scan the network because now I have uh, around 70 nodes, so it will take around less than one minute something. And just press yes, okay. And then now it need around 30 minutes something to scan the whole Vibus network. So just wait a second. But this is normal and uh, yeah, so no need to take it just depends on how many nodes that you are uh, you have been in your system. Okay, I think uh, all is, is finished. Okay. Okay, great, it's done. And then as you see in the tree, well, in, in the device tree, you can see that the year 6731 is added in your project. So the first one, you need to make sure that you can click device and go to general. There's a name that you don't need to take care of so much in here. For the year 6731 uh, six, tab, that is a conversation you need to confirm that is your station number. So in here, you need, I will set it to 2, just to make sure they're not duplicate to my Siemens PLC. Okay. And then you need to config the, uh, the pathway. So in here, I'm using 12 megabytes. I said 12 uh, megabit, uh, mega. 
uh, maker. So uh, in the configurations of Siemens, we can see the parameters here is same here so okay yeah but anyway it should be work and uh and then the next parameter you would you would like to set is uh i think that's okay no need so much parameter to set in here so we close here we can add our siemens uh plc as a config uh profile slave in here so go to right click add new items if as I mentioned before, if you download the GSD file from Siemens website and install in the director uh, uh, directory that I showed you before in, in the before slide, then here you find a catalog called Siemens and inside the Siemens PLC here. So press OK. Then a Siemens PLC is added in your system. So right click, you should change the system number to 1. So that's finished. Okay, so after you change it to 1 and then you can... Uh, open the slot so the first slot is generated automatically from the uh, gsd file so you, now you can configure the slot that you want we right click go here right click add new items the first one i would like to configure is the outputs of the slot because okay we open the conversion again go to db and conversions here you see that my first our uh, first slot here is configured as input and our next slot config is output so in the Siemens side, if it's defined as input, in the Trinket side, it should be the output. Makes sense, right? Okay, just go back to here. And uh, I think I'll go to here. And I will choose, uh, there's a module called master q slave underscore i. With a 4 byte. I think this one, yeah. Then press OK. Then now a new module is added in your system. When you open it, you see there's 4 bytes of output in the slot you see here each one is at one bytes so this is save very now this time with the output the right click add new items this time we will use master underscore i slave q master underscore i slave q with four bytes data great and now you see the next slot they have four we'll have four bytes of input all these conversions are finished so make sure to save your project yeah and then now i, I can create some simple plc pro, uh, program so go to the PLC, select the PLC, right click add new items, and set send us PLC project. A new PLC project is added in your system, and then you can add a new GBL. Oops, GBL. I will call it is GBL underscore DB. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, I get it. Underscore DB. Okay. And then I'll define some uh, windows in here. So good in output in data is you know, is uh, at st percent i star mark. It should be a rate of uh, zero point or three of uh, bytes. And then we have output data, output data at percent q star mark is a rate zero from zero to three of bytes. Great. Then I'll open my project. I just put some dummy data in here to check the data exactly transferred to the system or not. So GL DP output data zero is equal to make for example uh, A uh, AC. Then you can copy paste paste paste, and then we can one uh, two uh, three. For example here maybe E A E E E one and D eight and nine and nine two something. Okay, and then we we'll go to build build solution to compile our project. And then now we can map our assist our uh, process input. Go to the device in here and go to right click here. Oh I guess I think I need to Mention you that we we'll kick the Pokipass module and you go to the EL6731 tab. They very important thing called search. So, what is search? When you call search, they will find which terminal can be used as a Pokipass master in your system. Here, you see terminal, 5, terminal 13. So, go to terminal 1 inside EK1101 and 
in the terminal 13 is exactly the POVIS bus master module. So you make make sure that you are choosing the same the correct module. Even you cannot download your project to the runtime because they show an error. So it's finally just select all this data, right click, change multiple link, and choose the variables you defined before. Just do the same thing for the input. Great. Okay, and save again. Okay, then uh, just save it. And then uh, finally, you need to download the whole project to your runtime. And then shift the project, shift your runtime to run more again. And log in the system. Great, now we can open our camera to check the uh, hardware is working or not. Okay, we can go open our camera. So C A M Y A camera. Then you can see uh, now in here the Pokebus module is turning on. It's without no any red LED in here, and you see the Siemens PLC also configured normally, not any error. And then uh, we can check the GVLU. Here is GVLU DB, and open the DB and in and out. You can see some input data is uh, received from the Siemens PLC. We will change it to the hex format. Then A B C D F zero one A. So go back to the uh, the zip seven side. Go to here. Uh, now it's online. So we see one A C A B C D F zero F zero one A. So it's the data what we send from the Siemens side. Now we also receive some data from the back of is ACE1 D892 ACE1 D892 done or you can receive all the data okay so i think in this tutorial is enough uh, the tutorial is enough so i think that um, if you have any problem just feel free to text me from twitter from uh, youtube comment or email or LinkedIn that we can have any discussion in any times. I hope you like this video and I hope I can see you again. So please say good day. Bye bye.